though Britain hadn't suffered enough indignities in recent weeks, Pokemon Go still hasn't launched here due to various server issues. In fact, Pokemon Go has so far only rolled out in America, New Zealand and Australia, so the rest of the world is having to look on jealously as budding Pokemon masters get a head start on the free-to-play augmented reality app that brings our childhood dreams to life and fills local landmarks with monsters to catch, trade and battle. One sort of good thing about the other countries getting access to Pokemon Go first is that we're forced to do nothing but look on while players get to grips with their new status quo, for better and for worse. And the results have been surprising. Here are six unexpected side effects that Pokemon Go has been having on real life. Pokemon Go works by tagging local landmarks and areas of interest as places where people can visit to collect Pokeballs and other items, and capture new and exciting Pokemon using augmented reality. That encourages players to get out of the house and get exercising, but the sites Pokemon Go marks as gyms are oddly diverse. Nightclubs, pubs, cemeteries and churches are all experiencing an upswing in visits, and one man on Twitter who lives in a converted church reports that his home has now become a local gym. Now what this means for certain privacy laws remains to be seen, but for the time being it's oddly charming to know that the actual White House is a gym currently controlled by a Spiro called Murica, and that the Westboro Baptist Church is ruled by a Clefairy, what else, called Love is Love. Right now they're trying to battle it off with a Jigglypuff. This is real life. Amazing. We always suspected it to be true, but Pokemon Go is proving that if you set people the challenge of catching Pokemon in real life, they'll rise to the occasion in spectacular fashion. Upon spotting a gym in the middle of a lake, two girls in New Zealand got in a kayak in order to claim it for Team Blue while other trainers looked on. Meanwhile, in Perth, Australia, police helped organise a Pokemon Go walk, where players went out en masse to collect and capture creatures together. Police in several areas have issued safety posters reminding enthusiasts that catching Pokemon while driving is probably a bad idea. Though most people are using the app to catch Pokemon and have a lovely time, we've already seen a few reports now of people taking advantage of the large number of Pokemon trainers currently roaming the streets. Four teenagers in Missouri were arrested for allegedly using Pokemon Go to orchestrate armed robberies over the weekend. They're thought to have used the game's lore feature to tempt players into secluded areas before robbing them at gunpoint. And I cannot imagine this kind of thing ever happened to your boy Ash Ketchum. More seriously, I guess, whilst it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of chasing down a Dratini or a Staryu, it's still probably wise to stay alert with regards to your real world surroundings as well. Not that that always ends so great either. In a scene that sounds like it came straight from Stand By Me, a Wyoming girl was searching for water Pokemon down by her local river when she accidentally stumbled upon a dead body instead. What even is this game, man? It's not all doom and gloom, of course. There are lots of reports coming in of people meeting up and making friends as a result of their shared love of Pokemon. And that the app is even helping people suffering from depression to go out and get in touch with friends. Some users are even calling it Tinder for nerds, on account of it being the perfect tool to meet and strike up conversations with like-minded trainers in your local area. If it goes well, perhaps they can name their firstborn after the Pokemon they first bonded over. Hmm, poor little Zubat. And let's not forget that, being an ARG, Pokemon Go makes heavy use of phone cameras, inserting Pokemon into a real-world view. And where there are cameras, there are daft pictures. Like this giant crabby invading a baseball stadium, for instance. Or this enormous licky tongue threatening to trample the New York Mets. Or this guy who still found time to catch a Pidgey while his wife gave birth. Or this Dojuo found on stage in a... strip joint? Classy. The bottom line is that despite the fact it hasn't even fully launched yet, Pokemon Go is big news. Massive, massive news. Nintendo stock is up 10% despite them only being a stakeholder in the Pokemon company, and the app is about to overtake Twitter for active users. It's already surpassed Tinder, which tells you that it's definitely not just for kids. The nostalgia is strong in this one, and it's nice to see so many people revisiting their childhood in real time. Though they're perhaps a little less precious about naming conventions this time around, if autocorrect has anything to do with it. 
So let's just hope all this hype holds up until Pokemon Go finally launches in the rest of the world. Until then, you can check out a couple of our latest videos, including this one that sees us try to draw what we think Pokemon Sun and Moon's starter evolutions will look like.